Okay, so I've got this engine mounted on the upright, obviously, on my stand, so it's nice and firm. I just have any old prop on here that had a hole, a hub drilled big enough to accept this prop mount. I'm not going to run the engine with this, so I don't care. It's just a mechanical advantage. As you can see, this engine has absolutely no compression. Of course, I have the glow plugs out, too. I was doing that just so I could spin this thing over while there's oil inside. I put a whole bunch of... Uh, three-in-one oil in this thing overnight last night and getting, been kind of letting it sit in the box and just kind of letting this oil do some stuff here. Let's see if our carb is still free from the other night. Uh, it's still pretty sticky. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now to see what's happening here is I'm just going to stick my finger over each glow plug hole and see if I get compression on any of the cylinders. And I would feel it, and you would see it. So there's nothing there. Nothing there. Remember, in the first video I said I thought I felt compression on one of these. Nothing there. So this number two cylinder has compression. So this is one, two, three, four. The number two cylinder actually has valve train movement. Now I can make it whistle with my finger there. So that'll be the least concern at this moment. The next thing I'm going to do is pop these rocker covers off and see if we have any uh, rocker arm movement. And if we don't have rocker arm movement, then obviously there's why we don't have compression. But more than likely, we've got cam followers that are stuck in here. Uh, but I'm going to shut the video off and then remove some rocker covers real quick. Okay, so here's cylinder one, cylinder three, and as expected, you can see that this one, we have the intake rocker arm is moving. Exhaust is not. Here, intake is not moving. Exhaust is. And on cylinder number two, on cylinder number two, we have nothing happening. And as you can see on one, or actually this is four, as you can see on two here, everything's fine. So I've got some lubricant called Ballastol. And it's the only thing I've got that's a spray because I've got this in this orientation. I really need something I can spray. I'm just going to spray some of that Ballastol on all of these components here and hit them with the heat gun real quick and see if I can at least think, get those things moving. Okay, so a really awesome gentleman, a friend of mine, John, sent me this ballastol. This is actually the first time I've really ever used it. Ordinarily I would use 3-in-1 oil for this operation, but like I said, I can't spray 3-in-1 oil. Alright, I'm going to let that sit for a couple seconds and then I'm going to hit it with the heat gun and see what happens. Okay, got my heat gun. I'm going to just heat the entire cylinder up real quick and see if we can get anything happening here. you saw that's really hot now I think I saw I got the valve to move down a little bit so it's not the rocker arm it's necessarily stuck it's probably the cam follower down here but I'm not sure if, I'm not entirely sure if I've got enough oil in there to actually loosen that up yet so some of this stuff may not actually come free uh, until I start disassembling it, but this kind of at least gives me an idea of what I might be seeing here. Yeah, 
outputs. Okay, I had turned the camera off because my wife stepped out here and I already kind of got the rockers on both uh, number one and number three operating and moving and let me show you what I did to do that. As you see here, nothing is happening. What I was just doing was first I'd push down on that just to make sure that it wasn't the rocker arm pushing in on the valve and I could get a little bit of movement. Then what I was doing was kind of pushing back on the cam follower like that. I'm just kind of working it back and forth by hand when it's wanting to go the one way that it's stuck just let it do that so you can see there things are starting to loosen up a little bit And a lot of that has to do with the amount of heat I was putting down here on the cam followers, I think. Let me move the camera over here real quick and show you this. See, there's rocker arm movement now. We can... Got compression there. It's still kind of warm. But as you can see, oh, I got compression on three cylinders now. It's just this number four cylinder that still is kind of tight. So number four cylinder is going to require a little bit more work. But as you can see, I've got things moving here with just very little effort at all. So that's what I'm doing here in this little segment of the afternoon today just try to assess what's really working what's not and see if I can get things moving again okay so rockers on cylinder number let's see what was it one two three four four are now working I know you really can't see it but we're gonna do the whistle test whistle whistle Whistle. Come on, you can whistle. It's got compression. I'm just not getting a good whistle. There we go. And honestly, I just made up the whistle test today, just now. So all cam followers and rockers are moving. And in theory, we could throw glow plugs in this engine and run it right now. That's not what's going to happen, but at least things are working and moving. So. We know that our rings probably aren't compressed in the piston because we have compression. And to me it feels like oh, pretty damn good compression too on each cylinder. Yep. So, at least we've got that much accomplished on this engine so far. Okay, one last demo before I end this particular video. I just put the glow plugs in. Looks like all four cylinders to me. There you go. We have compression on this engine now. 